All righty, Mr. Gay Keeper here on this beautiful Saturday uh, day out here in the blasting heat. Do I have a surprise for you? Whoever's going to own this beautiful amplifier here. Uh, I put a lot of tender love and care into this uh, amp here, rebuilding it, man, uh, getting it ready, repainting the cover, as you can see. Did a little, a little bit of work inside the amplifier as well. We'll go through all that after we do an output test and everything. And uh, also modified it with a remote port on the back, as you can see. And we have a remote hooked up to it now, which is being sold with the amplifier. This is a Gatekeeper wired remote. Okay. This is a Gatekeeper wired remote. See if I can hold the phone. And I'll plug the remote in. I knew something was about to drop. I'm going to use two hands here. Sorry about that, y'all. All righty. So we got going to go ahead and sell a wired remote with it. This is a remote that I actually built for myself a while back. I had laying around. Go ahead and show you that it works perfectly. There's your on. There's your off. Okay. I also would like to go ahead and uh, say in this video, too, I have already released the Y-Mote, the wireless remote control. The wireless remote control. See the little remote right there? You plug this uh, cotton picker right here in the back of your amplifier the same way this is plugged in. But your only difference is you ain't got wire, you're gonna have to run to the front of your amp, uh, uh, vehicle. You plug this puppy right here in the back of the amplifier and you turn that amp on and off with this remote right here that you can put on your keychain. I've already released it on eBay right now. Uh, haven't sold a lot of them. I think it's because uh, people's never heard of anything like this, and they're kind of, kind of iffy about it. <laughs> Which I don't blame them, man. I can't believe these ain't for sale uh, on every single major website. But hey, we're working on it. Um, uh, doing a little bit of communication with Carl over at X Force right now. Going to be a uh, Possibly, possibly uh, selling them on uh, on uh, X Force's uh, website. We're working out a little little deal right now, a little business deal. I'm gonna send them up there and let them take a look at it, try it out. But the Y mote right here is easily uh, could work with this amplifier right here. You just plug it in the back and you're ready to go. All righty. So let's go ahead and flip this booger on. Well, let's flick it off first, let y'all see how many, uh, oh, uh, another thing that's going to be coming with this amplifier. I went ahead and put uh, some Anderson Quick Disconnects on here, so that's another plus. I had to put new uh, wires in the back of this amp here, so we got uh, Quick Disconnects that's coming with it. This other end will be coming with it as well, and you can go ahead and tie that into where, whatever you want. I've just got my uh, test clips on here. All righty. Running off the Cobra 29 Bluetooth, uh, four bird watts, limiter has not been cut, 100% modulation. No, tell, 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 audio, 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 audio. Alrighty, 20 watts. Let's go ahead and flip this thing on with the remote. Alrighty. We are on low. The only thing about this amplifier physical flaw only physical flaw of this amplifier is the writing right here is coming off a little bit and there's a little dent right there that is it everything else is flawless like I said I repainted the top here with a nice little uh, uh, rough type texture paint alrighty here we go 
347 watts. Let's look at the input tune. Got a 10 watt slug. About 100 milliwatts. Perfect tune. Come on. Focus in, camera. Do te 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 o di 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 o. All righty. Let's go ahead and flip her on high. What? Do something about this mic, y'all. All right, high is gonna give us a. About a 15 watt dead key. We only got about a watt going into it. No, we get about 343 watts. Sorry, the blue lights are kind of kind of bright there. 343 watts. It's not that much of a difference of high and low. All righty, right there about 340, a 10 watt shy of 350. Let's go ahead and bust this on 15.3 uh, volts. About to drop that mic again. Good God, the money. <laughs> All righty, 15.2 volts. Let's let her rip. All righty, right there, 405 watts PEP. This is four. X MRF 455 transistors and guess what y'all <laughs> I had to do it brand new brand spanking new double black dot 455 transistors and guess what those are the last I have I picked these up a couple of months back and was saving them for a special, special, special box. So we decided to go ahead and use them on this one. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and turn everything off here and kind of give a quick overview. Yeah, we got the remote plugged in, that's right. <laughs> Alright, let's get everything unplugged here. Kind of give you a quick overview of everything that I had to do to the amp. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, let's quick this uh, light on real quick here. No sleep. You didn't sleep. Alright, when I received this amplifier, it wasn't in terrible condition. It had um, two blown pills in it. So that's when I just went ahead and just took, a, took the two out and just put a, a four matching set in. Okay. Both relays were bad in the amplifier. Right here. Both relays were bad. So here's what I had to do. I only had one replacement relay of this particular type of relay. Sorry about the phone focusing there. I only had one uh, relay that just soldered straight up to it. So what I had to do was I, I had to actually take off this whole thing completely out of this case. And, you know, I cleaned everything, cleaned the whole box very well. What I had to do was put a another relay in here. I don't know why the phone's focusing on it. I'm going to turn this light out. Maybe this will help. There we go. All right, I had to put this relay in, which is a, a different uh, style pinout relay than this, and uh, run actual separate wires from each 
connection hole uh, focus in now goodness gracious let's see if we can get up here like this alright you had to run a wire from each uh, each hole over to this uh, relay to the corresponding pins the preamp does work I just test tested it out on a live antenna the preamp does work so I'm glad for that I was hoping I didn't go with all that uh, trouble for for uh, no reason there <laughs> so the next and last thing I believe that I've done um, other than uh, retuning the output is I put a remote port this remote port is grounded so you can use it with a Y-mote okay because a Y-mote does have to have a ground just like this remote has to have a ground for the actual LED so I went ahead and installed a um, a remote port we're gonna be putting a Texas Star old school 350 uh, on the bench here next and I'm gonna be uh, doing a little modification that I've designed just for that particular amplifier which is a little bit a little bit trickier than an amplifier like this because of how Texas Stars are designed with their switches and uh, it's gonna be a little neat one as well so we got your remote port on the back of here alrighty and the last thing that I did was replace the red LEDs with these blue ones and I'll, I had to fix the uh, RF uh, 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 transmit circuit as well as you can see I added a little 100 ohm resistor in there so that that LED will actually uh, fade in and out with your voice and so other than that um, looks like uh, I might have replaced a cap or two but other than that man there she be hope whoever gets it enjoys it you got some accessories that come with it like I said you got these two quick disconnect Andersons okay just pull that off or whatever disconnect got your wired remote control that comes with it I thought about throwing a Y-mote with it but uh I need to get I need to get rid of this wired remote thought it'd be a good time to go ahead and just put this with it anybody needing Y-motes look me up on eBay we got a couple more in stock can build more within a matter of a few hours so Mr. Gatekeeper Another one revived to drop uh, many, many more hammers to make some ruckus out there in DX land or just to do some local smooth rag chewing, whatever the case may be. 1,883 the old gatekeeper. We good and we gone.